welcome back to my channel in for today's video i am so extra excited because we're gonna be doing a foundation review foundation review <laughs> as you can see i am not in a full swing beat because obviously we're gonna be testing a foundation today this is the profusion feel good skin longwear perfector foundation as soon as i see this available for pickup in my local walmart i run and i did pick this baby's up and i am very very curious of how does it really act or behave towards my dry skin speaking of profusion i actually have ordered some stuff from online i was planning to do a full face of profusion cosmetics you guys i have used profusion if you've watched my previous videos i've used some of their eyeshadows and it's really really good and yeah i have high hopes in these foundations and i believe this is their first foundation launch so i am very much excited about that and so we are going to be doing or putting this into test and see how it thus throughout the day through my dry skin yeah i don't have anything else to say you guys let's stop rumbling and let's go ahead and jump into this review all right guys so real quickly i wanted to give you information of this foundation let's talk about claims price and the shade range so let's start with shade range first shade range of this foundation is not too impressive just because they only have like 10 or 11 shades so, so i was like eh, that's not really on a good note with that said since i don't have my perfect shade i would say i was thinking i would be tan 3 so i just pick up the tan 1 neutral and tan 5 with the pricing the pricing is really good it is amazingly affordable it's only like seven dollars moving on to its uh, claim says this satin finish skin perfector is infused with hyaluronic acid and packed with SPF 15 which is good to keep your skin protected and hydrated allowing your radiance to glow from within so that was pretty quick straight to the point and awesome claim so I'm very very excited it is hydrating which is I'm all about especially during the winter or cold season and also I don't know the, the coverage of this one is actually medium to full coverage all right guys so let's go ahead and jump into the face makeup all right guys so to prep my skin I am going to use my NYX bear with me prime set refresh mist so to prime my face i'm just gonna use my laura geller spackle under makeup primer all right guys so moving on now that our primer is setting well i'm using the la girl green corrector for just the pigmentation and then I'm just going to top it with this best concealer that I have. This is from e.l.f. This is their HD Lifting Concealer. This is so good, you guys. Literally, it helps cover all my pigmentation. And then if you have this pigmentation like I do, I just have to be not super harsh with them, covering them up because, you know, you don't want to infect them that much. And so you just want to be a little bit gentle right there. Oh, now we're initially covered and now let's move on to our foundation. I have a shade Tan 5 Warm Yellow and Tan 1 Neutral. So let's just swatch these two shades right here in my chest and see which one is appropriately dust. This is Tan Warm 5. Definitely very much yellow, I would say, and it's really warm to me. This is the shade Tan One. So as you can see, she's more lighter right there. And I would say it would be perfect if I'm going to just mix this two shades. Packaging looks like this. It's very slick, it's very thin, and it's perfect for your traveling. I like it how it came in just this squeeze tube and yeah i like it and it's very light again perfect for traveling so part of this space i'm gonna apply with a brush and then this one is going to be sponge so let's do that which one did i say brush this one right all right so let's do that and by the way guys this brush that i am using is from elf this is the 
brush from the Bellanor collection. I am not a brush buddy. I am more like a sponge girl. So, yeah. So far, I like that coverage, you guys. That is so nice and sleek. It is so amazing. You know what? I'm impressed by this brush. I like how it applies into my skin. Mm. You see that? It's beautiful. I like the finish of it. Oh, wow. And that's just like one layer of my foundation. Now let's do again on this side with my brush. So I'm just gonna use my hand and like dab this foundation all over my face. I'm using my total face sponge. I am loving this finish, you guys. I am not mad at all. It is so pretty. Like, yes, I'm here for it. And I can definitely see the dewiness of that finish right there. That's so impressive. Like, yes. Profusion. So this is the sponge sponge. So this is the sponge finish and this is the brush finish. I say I kind of like the brush finish because it applies the product flawlessly and like it's air brush. I feel like it's just so even. Definitely I like the brush side over my sponge but again i am a sponge girl so much i just love my sponge all right guys so that was that i don't know if i should like do a brush on this side but that would probably defeat the purpose of me using a sponge i super like the finish you guys i love how dewy it is i love how silky and smooth it is in the skin it is definitely lightweight i feel like i don't have any eyeshadows in my face eyeshadows <laughs> foundation in my face but yeah that is beautiful so as you can see i am more flawless on the brush side and i am like not bad on the sponge side but i kind of love this side do we have a winner here do i have to switch on a brush we'll see we'll see all right guys i'm excited for this let me just finish the rest of my face and i'm gonna come back to you guys tell you what is my initial impressions on this foundation so i'll be right back all right guys now i'm back with a full beat i have not all those set my face so that's what i'm gonna do with you guys because i like setting my face with you i just like it so today i'm just going to set my face with my milani make it last setting spray this is one of my most favorite out in the drugstore well really i don't have any setting sprays that high-end everything is a drugstore i have one from Too faced but that's from tj maxx Oh, this one has such a fine mist, you guys. Wow. So real quickly also, I'm just going to like set my brows using my NYX Tinted Brow NYX. NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the shade black. If you have like a brows like I do, like it doesn't sit unless I set it. It's just a pain. So just something you want to keep in mind all right guys so that's that for today initially this is how the foundation sits on my face i really like it it's very airy i am living for this foundation it is so good for now it is flawless it is airbrush it is silky it is natural definitely medium to full coverage but yeah i am here for it i will definitely check back in with you guys and see how the foundation looks throughout the day i'm gonna go by my day and right now it is exactly like 3 32 come on 3 32 p.m so i'm gonna just get back to you in a few hours but so far again i like the foundation this is so flawless like i'm so excited for this like yeah, so <laughs> I will just see you guys in a few hours. So hey guys, now I'm back. I am tired. I'm ready to go to bed, but I really want to check in with you guys quickly. So this is how the foundation looks like on me. It's a little over seven hours and currently it's 11.21 as you can see. If we can able to zoom just a little bit, but as you can see, 
this is how the foundation sitting in my skin or in my face and as you can notice i have a little bit of creasing around in my nose and a little bit right here around my t-zone and in my mouth i'm a little bit shiny but i feel like the foundation really did wear nicely throughout the day even if i did not go out today i did also wear a mask just to test the foundation as you can see it has just a little bit of uh, foundation right there but yep that was that so it's not too bad i know it's gross but i did not do anything i did not powder i did not blot i have a dry skin so i don't feel the need of blotting i don't have to go anywhere i will just try to like add on some powder in it of course i eat so um only my lip um on the side of my lip is um like shiny but right now the shine is kind of like gone because of that powder that i put in it isn't too late right now if i have like early early makeup i can probably wear this around eight or ten more hours this is like such a very good drugstore foundation you guys profusion did not come to play on this foundation it is on point the coverage the silkiness the finish the claims on it is like on point if you're looking for a new foundation and then a hydrating one profusion is where it's at so yeah my blush my brows my eyeliner my eyeshadow is still in place that is just amazing so i like this one i really really do recommend it so yeah that was that so this is it for this foundation review you guys i'm tired i'm ready to go to bed so i will just see you oh please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't please do and click that notification bell before you leave for you will get notified every time i upload a video every single week and i will see you guys in my next video adios bye Oh, no.